Yo, what's good Jets Nation? This is NY Jets Media, bringing you guys a brand new video, and in this one I will be talking about my thoughts on the Jets finally moving on from Trumaine Johnson, and how abysmal that contract was, and how much of a nightmare he lived up to, but and I also want to talk about what the Jets can potentially do with the $11 million in cap space that we got from cutting him. So getting right into the video, as we all know, Trumaine Johnson was one of the worst signings in Jets history. At the time, I think all Jets fans can agree that we were, we wanted to sign Trumaine. And when we first got him, we were all pumped up and we were all completely wrong, including myself. I was hyped up for Trumaine at first and then his first year he was terrible and he was washed up and you guys know the rest. It was basically a Mike McCagnan nightmare and it gave us, it put the Jets in cap hell for a really long time. So it's good to finally have 11 million dollars in space freed up that's not going towards Tremaine Johnson because he really did not live up to his potential. He hit his prime on the Rams and when he came to the Jets he obviously was never going to reach that potential and we gave him way too much money. We basically paid him for his previous uh, playing style in uh, on the Rams and he did not live up to the amount of money we paid him and that's what Joe Douglas is probably going to try to avoid especially after he joined this team and he realized that wow the past GM, I cannot make this mistake because this really hindered the Jets' development for a lot of years because if you don't have cap uh, flexibility, it really limits your uh, how you build this team. And I feel like Joe Douglas is setting himself up to have cap flexibility for years and years. And I feel like the only players that Joe Douglas will give long-term extensions a lot of money himself is his homegrown talent. I don't really see him going out in free agency and hitting a big name guy unless there's a really young dude that hasn't hit his prime yet that he spends a lot of money on. I don't see Joe Douglas doing something like Mike McCagney did by bringing in Trumaine Johnson. So yes, basically it's a nightmare. The whole situation was terrible, but the good thing is it's over and we get $11 million and he's off the team and we have a new cornerback in Pierre Desir and rookie Bryce Hall. We got Blashawn Austin. We got, I like the cornerback room. And I'm really excited that he's gone because it can get the young boys and the young guys uh, more time to play and develop. And now that we got $11 million in cap space, there's some players out there that we can sign, like Jadavion Clowney, Larry Warford, and those guys, both of them will come into the Jets and have immediate impact to the team. We lack edge pressure, and we obviously lack offensive line depth. Yes, our offensive line drastically improved, and I already broke down the offensive line in this uh, channel. And if you guys haven't seen that, I broke down with Matt O'Leary, and we talked about our thoughts on the whole offensive line depth. But we definitely could uh, use a uh, former Pro Bowl guard, Larry Warford, from the Saints. Like, that would be a media up. He can play in uh, Alex Lewis, or probably not start. He would be a left guard, and our offensive line would really look like really good especially seeing what happened in 2019. 2019 was a terrible year for offensive line. We had like 10, 11 different sets in there, no continuity, all injuries, nightmare. But if we can use this money and do sign him, I would be so okay with that. Or use this money and uh, put that into an extension for Jamal Adams because that's another huge uh, thing with Joe Douglas and the Jets right now. Are we going to sign Jamal for the extension now or next offseason? I just want it to get done. I just broke down the safeties in my last video and I talked about Jamal and the whole trade speculation. I think uh, this $11 million could either go to a new player or put it into Jamal Adams' contract. Either all three different ways I'm okay with. And me personally, I'd rather have Jamal Adams at Jet for Life and just make sure he's locked up and he deserves all the money. And because I know a lot of people say he's just a safety, but he's not just a safety. He's an edge rusher. He's a uh, linebacker. He's everything. He's one of the best players in the league, if not the best safety in the, in the league. And yeah, I'm not going to get into Jamal Adams that much, but I would love to use, I would love to see Joe Douglas use that money and either sign Clowney, Warford, or Jamal Adams. And there's a bunch of other guys out there that, uh, that, that we need a veteran guy, I feel like in the wide receiving group. So freeing up $11 million in cap space at this time on the off season opens up a lot of avenues for Joe Douglas because there's definitely still people on the open market. Leave a comment down below what you guys want to see from Joe Douglas with this uh, $11 million freed up. And yeah, I don't really want to hear you guys' thoughts of Tremaine Johnson down below because I think we all agree on it that Tremaine Johnson really hindered the Jets and it just wasn't a good match. 
With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Let's go Jets. Peace.